Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with week four of drills and chills. My apologies for my super froggy voice. My oldest decided to so generously share uh, a school bug with me. So <laughs> I'm so sorry that I just sound completely hoarse today, but I hope that you'll, you'll still hang in there with me. I have a lot of really fun things to share with you today. Drills and Chills is a crafting community event that centers around and celebrates all things Halloween and fall. And we are not that far away from the halfway point of the event itself. And it's actually not too late to join in. We're running all the way through Halloween, October 31st, and you're welcome to join in anytime. Um, if you didn't know, I don't know that I've mentioned it specifically necessarily in videos, at least not these weekly videos, but uh, we have some incredible grand prizes planned for you guys in addition to some wonderful weekly prizes that Lindsay and I have been giving away. Lindsay is my co-host, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and is doing weekly videos and giveaways every single week as well. Um, but for the grand prizes, just in case you didn't know, Diamond Art Club has donated 10 $250 gift cards for us to give away as part of the grand prizes. And we also have two super generous bundles of prizes from our other sponsors as well. That include some diamond paintings, some accessories, trays, minders, putty, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to know how to enter for the grand prize, uh, you want to make sure that you have a new start and uh, that you you know honor that you started your kit honor after September first, and you have a start photo posted either in the Facebook group in the start photo thread or on Instagram with a public profile. Or if you don't use social media, you can email me at diamondsandwashi at gmail.com. Then you need to complete your kit sometime before October thirty first and submit. Um, there's a specifically a grand prize entry form that's linked in each of our weekly videos and event videos that you can submit through. Um, grand prize entries are limited to one per person and uh, it does need to be a licensed kit. So if you want to hear me go into all of the other details about this event and the qualifications, I'm going to point you back to the kickoff videos that uh, we, Lindsay and I both put out on the first. They covered the same information, you just have to watch one if you want to make sure you have all of the details and feel free to join us in our Facebook group for the event as well. But anyway, for a week four video today, I thought it would be fun to check in. I know we're not quite halfway through the event, but I still thought it would be fun uh, this week to go ahead and give you a little update on some of my, my own drills and chills projects. I'm surprised in a good way that I've been able to get a decent amount of progress in on my projects. I wasn't sure because this event has truly grown exponentially in the and, and has been just delightfully overwhelming is the way that I, I've been describing it. And so I was like, I just, I don't know how many guess diamond paint much this year, but I have, and I'm really loving the projects that I've been working on. I have two that I've finished so far and, and one here that I think I'm gonna finish in the next couple of days. Uh, so I thought we'd just kind of do some mini post reviews and progress check-ins just on what I've been working on. And I, I if you're new to my channel, I do. I try to do a lot of reviews of completed kits here. Um, a lot of people in in the diamond painting world call them post reviews on YouTube. Uh, so I have a whole playlist dedicated to that, and I try to complete kits from a huge variety of different companies in uh, the diamond painting world. The only thing that I'm looking for is are they legally licensed pieces. Um, and so if you're curious to see and see if there are specific shops that I review, I've reviewed in the past or whatnot, I'll have that playlist link below. Feel free to go and take a look. Uh, this is just gonna be kind of a snapshot of what those reviews typically look like and I'm gonna be just going over a few different kits. I do have my diamond painting logbook here. Um, I do keep a paper logbook once I've started a kit. It goes all the way back to the very beginning of my diamond painting journey way back um, in May, April. April of 2020. Um, I'm actually almost, I'm coming up on the end of this notebook, you guys, finally. Um, but I do have, uh, I just, I track things like the stats of various kits. It's not, you know, it's not fancy. It's not colorful or pretty, but um, how many kits, you know, I finished, including like how many this year, if there are any events I participated in, 
and things that I loved or not so not so uh, crazy about and then any other random you know notes so anyway uh that being said let me let me talk about this so first you might notice a common theme between the the three kits that I have here and I you know I swear it wasn't on purpose but um <laughs> black cat <laughs> black cat and black cat. Okay, look, listen, I love cats. I, I'm a kind of equal opportunity with animals. Um, but I, I didn't necessarily plan to have this ongoing theme through here, but I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Um, but anyway, this is just, this is Witch Bedroom from Diamond Art Club by the artist Mrs. Buttered. That was my first finish. This is Kitty Latte from Crystal Canvas Art Designs by Anchali R and is a full crystal kit. And then this over here, which I have not quite completed yet, I just have one row left, is called Furry Familiar by the artist Kara Ann Aldridge from Craftably. So let's kind of go in order of how I finished these. So first I wanna do a little mini review here of um, which bedroom. I'm just gonna let these stay layered together. <laughs> uh, so to give you a quick rundown, the stats on this one, this is a really nice manageable size of uh, 42.9 by 60.7 centimeters or let's see 17 by 24 inches and uh, this was one that I kind of decided to work on spontaneously um, I I've seen a number of people work on kits by this artist and the color schemes are always just so dreamy and so pretty um, and I love the color pink <laughs> And so I don't know why this one didn't jump out to me right away. I think because when I was scrolling my through my options and my stash, it just didn't stand out to me because it was so pink. It didn't occur to me that, oh yeah, no, this is a witch. This would totally qualify for trails and chills. But this is just chock full of really, really, really pretty details and so many shades of pink. It has 60 colors and like 75% of them have to be a shade of pink. Um, it's got a ton of details. Some of my favorites are, I love, of course, our little kitty I think is rendered beautifully. I love the tea with the floating, um, I know this is sugar cubes in a tea bag. Um, I think that's a really fun detail. I think that um, some even just like these posters on the walls are really fun. Um, the crystals up here, which I think was some of the only blue in the kit. I, I started at the bottom and worked my way uh, up to the top and I was like, I haven't used this color yet until I got all the way up here. I love the AB placement. Uh, the the steam that's kind of coming out of the cauldron here is full of ABs and I think is just so pretty. And I just feel like this kit in particular seems like it's Diamond Art Club at its best in terms of rendering. Um, it's just gorgeously, gorgeously rendered. I like the ABs and these hanging string lights as well. Um, I loved, loved, loved working with these square diamonds. Diamond Art Club square drills are some of the very best out there. And I'm I'm not just saying that, like I've done a ton of diamond painting kits and I just, Diamond Art Club's newer square drills, and by new I mean like the past year, year and a half, um, they're fantastic. They're really uniform in size and shape and they just fit beautifully. Uh, I like that this kit had a lot of color blocking in it. And it really did work up pretty quickly. Let me see. I started it on September 1st. I finished it on September 12th, but I had another kit, a non-drills and chills kit that I was working on finishing up at the same time. So this wasn't getting 100% of my attention. Also because I started it right as the event was kicking off and it was, it was just a little bit, a little busy, a little chaotic there at the beginning. Again, in the best way. So uh, this was just a joy to work on. Um, there were a couple of symbols uh, i'm trying to remember off the top of my head i didn't take a picture that was my mistake i should have taken a picture of of the drill field to show you uh, but there were a few symbols you can see that on the legend i know it's a little covered with washi tape there are a number of different symbols that are pink a pink background with a white symbol there um there were a lot of those kinds of symbols on this canvas and you yeah, have got even got a couple up here like the number seven the letter e um, when they were all together and close up on the canvas, sometimes it just felt like it was a tiny bit of a strain on my eyes. They were printed pretty clearly, but it was just like the pink on the canvas was so intense that sometimes that white coloring of the symbols on the pink background, it just didn't stand out to my eye as easily when I was trying to pick colors and place colors. Um, so that just slowed me down just a little bit uh so you know but i don't know how often you're going to work on a canvas that is just pure pink like this one is but it's something that i noticed and i want to be honest about what my experiences are working on canvases 
but honestly this was just really really enjoyable to work on the color scheme was totally my jam um it's really stylized and I like that it didn't have to be a huge size kit um, and I th I'm guessing that that has to do because I'm guessing it has to do with the fact that like they didn't have to try to render a face like the, ki the the subject is facing away from us of course we have our kitty face but like a people face I feel like sometimes they have to make it a bigger size to be able to render a person's like a human being's face with with a, a level of detail that really you know, it works. Diamond Art Club's running style is really, really crisp and clean in general. Um, it's it's hand charted, like that means that someone, a person, like not just a computer and a program, but a person is looking, or pe multiple people are looking at the original artwork and translating it to diamond painting form, even sometimes pixel by pixel, um, and really deliberately trying to choose colors in such a way that the artwork is going to make sense and yeah diamond art club is known for having a pretty clean and crisp rendering style and i think it suits mrs buttered the artist of this piece i think it sort of suits her, her artwork particularly well so if you can tell i'm so 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 happy with how this turned out and really enjoyed working on it um i don't know if it's currently in stock my guess is it's out of stock because it, it tends to sell out pretty quickly when it's restocked, but that means if it continues to be popular, hopefully Diamond Art Club will keep restocking it. I'll link to this listing at least, and if it is out of stock, when you go to look, there should, and, and if they're planning to potentially restock it, it's not a for sure thing, you can sign up for an email notification. Um, that'll that'll be there as long as they don't discontinue it, you know, after. So anyway, that was my first finish for the month and did go relatively quickly. My second finish for the month was this really, really cute little kit from Crystal Canvas Art and Designs. It's called Kitty Latte and is by the artist Anchali R. And um, this one, I, for, I I didn't do a washi tape border on like I normally do on my kits. And this this is why I suggest using washi tape, like I'm paying for it now. As you can see the fuzz and stuff that like got in here. I have a black cat, I have small children. Like I, maybe the black cat is why I keep doing all these black cat kits. Anyway. Um, that's why I like to do wash tape board like I've got, you know, on the both of these canvases. Uh, um, to borrow the phrases, entirely Lindsay, my co-host, she says, keep the icky out of your sticky, which I think is just the cutest, cutest thing ever. <laughs> I love that she says that uh, for how to, for why to use washi tape. But anyway, this kit I worked on next because I, I really wanted to work on another full crystal kit. And Crystal Canvas Art Designs has been around for a while. Um, they've been a longtime sponsor and supporter of Drills and Chills. And this one was just super cute. They have some really, really cute seasonal kits. I did one last year from them as well. And I think that they're really unique in that they have these um, these kits that are entirely crystal drill kits. Um, and and they're, they're full crystal drill kits. And a lot of their kits now are hand charted as well. We talked about hand charting with this one. Um, some of them are not. They usually say in the description box. And this one definitely looks like it was hand charted. It only has seven colors and it was all crystals. You can see it's a really striking effect. And I did think that this one really looks good as a full crystal kit. It turned out really well. And they're round crystals. I don't remember if Crystal Canvas has squared crystal kits too, but this one was rounds. Um, it was only 20 by 25 centimeters. So snack size kit. This was basically a, a 12 to 24 hour kit for me. It was, you know, one day basically. And it was just really fun to work up. It had lots of color blocking. You know, this whole background is one color and it's kind of clear crystal. And then there were just tiny bits of these like this, like yellowish and this brown color and the pink in here. And then, you know, the black and the gray. Um, so full crystal kits are definitely a unique experience and a unique kind of kit to work on. Uh, I've done a few, like I said, and you'll see me kind of reaching out and trying to push some of these down. And I will say that that, that is something I've run into with crystals before. This does not seem to be, um, you know, like necessarily a shop issue, but more like I see this across the board with different crystals with different companies. Um, that crystals seem to be more difficult to get really uniform in size and shape. And so I was really trying to pick around and only only place the crystals that looked like they weren't too big or didn't have any like extra bits around the bottom. But this is still a little bit wanting to pop, like where it's like they're not sitting perfectly flush and almost feels like there's little diamonds that wanna lift just a little bit. So I am planning to seal this diamond painting. I haven't done so yet, but it is on my plan to do so. Um, I use, I have a video where I demoed. I actually was, it's where I was sealing one of my full crystal kits from Drills and Chills last year. I have a video where I show you 
how I've sealed kits. I'm by no means an expert at all. It's just the, the product that I use is called Minwax Polycrylic in the clear gloss finish. Um, and I just lightly brush it on with a brush and it doesn't dull the sparkle of the diamonds or the crystals whatsoever. And it doesn't make the canvas super, super stiff, but it prevents the diamonds from falling off and just kind of seals it nicely. So I am planning to seal this one. Um, and I, I, you know, that's, I, that I'm not, you know, trying to say anything bad at all about the company. I truly think that this is just one of the tricky things about crystals and how they sit on a canvas in general. So I'm not at all complaining. I'm not mad. I just have acknowledged that, okay, well, when it comes to crystal drill kits, I just may need um, to seal them after and that's okay. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed working on this kit. It was easy. It was enjoyable to work on. Look at how cute this artwork is. They do have a really nice variety of licensed artwork. And I, if you haven't checked out Crystal Canvas Art Designs, please do. Like I said, they're one of the sponsors for our event. But I just, look at how happy and cute this is. So I'll also link directly to this kit too. If it's in stock, you can grab it. If not, just kind of keep an eye out or at least browse what else they have because my gosh, they have so, 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 so many uh, crystal drill kits and like other special drill kits that are definitely worth checking out. So that was a fun second finish. And then my last, uh, my last kit that I have to show you today, it's not finished yet, but I still wanna do a little, we're calling this a check-in. It's not necessarily a full post review, uh, but I thought, let me at least show you guys this one because I'm loving it so much. It's ridiculously gorgeous. So you can see, I just have, one more row left and I should finish it this weekend. Um, the name of this one is Furry Familiar and it is from Craftably, like I said, and the artist is Kara Ann Aldridge. I completed a kit by this artist from Craftably earlier in the summer, actually, I think in June for Pride, and I was just completely in love with how it turned out. Uh, Craftably is just, one of the most consistent and quality companies out there. Like I just, I love how they render their kids. Um, and the quality is just top notch. So this is one that I was enabled on from my friend, Jamie, who's Jamie paints on Instagram. I actually had the chance to meet her in person and I saw this kit completed in person and was just blown away. And I thought, that looks incredible. How have I been sleeping on Craftably in these kits? And uh, so I, I hope that you're having the same kind of experience that I am, that the camera is doing this justice. Uh, it just is absolutely gorgeous. This one is 57 by 73 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches, I believe. Yeah, 53 colors, round drills. And one of my favorite things that Craftably does is that um, they hand chart not only ABs, but also some crystal drills. And I just like, look at the purples here. Let me try to show you in a way that does this justice. Okay. We've got like some purple and red crystals or kind of, yeah, like pinkish maybe magenta crystals in there and her hair, just all through her hair. And there's some amazing blue ABs in her hair too, which I just don't feel like the camera is at all doing justice. She has this gorgeous red AB in her lip. And then, look at this cat, I can't. I can't with this cat. Uh, so this has been so enjoyable to work on. I haven't been able to put it down. I've only, I've been working on it for a week. I think it's gonna be eight, eight to nine days in total to have finished it. And it's just great, it's just so wonderful. The only, uh, the only hiccups that I've had so far is that we do have two sets of symbols that are way too similar to one another. Uh, we have some <laughs> some putty that got stuck on that clear cover. So we have this symbol and this one here. Let me see, so sure you can see both in frame. Okay, so down here, this one, and up here, this one. They're the same color background, <laughs> nearly. And it's it, I you guys, I messed up on this one. And it's this light olive green color. And then this, where was it? It was in the, oh, it was one of these light gray colors that's in the cat. And I actually placed like 50 wrong color drills in the cat's tail uh, because I didn't realize that we had those two symbols that were both really similar to one another. So I did have to pick those off. Um, it is what it is. That's, you know, it's my fault a little bit, but they're printed really clearly on the canvas, you can see. Um, 
So it's not a matter of canvas printing issues. It's just that, oh, I didn't realize we had those two symbols that were incredibly similar. Uh, we do also have these two. These are actually two different crystal colors. Same deal. White symbol on like one is red and one is a dark pink that nearly reads red. So those that was the only thing that I've kind of run into. And I've, I've, I should have known better. I run into this with craftably kits in the past. But you know what? As as like sort of hiccups go or as like things that are, you know, not perfect about a, a canvas or kit goes, that's really pretty minor. Like I can work around that. I'm just thrilled that the drill quality is great. The canvas and glue quality are wonderful. And the rendering, the rendering is so, 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 so good. So um, I am loving working on this kit and then I can show craftably some love during this event. Um, they're not sponsoring, you know, which is completely fine. Um, there are still amazing shops out there like craftably that even if they're not sponsoring, you should still go and take a look at because they have gorgeous licensed artwork at really nice quality. Um, uh, points as well. Now this one I do believe is out of stock. I don't know if they're intending to restock it and when, but I I will link to their website and the diamond paintings they do have. And you guys go take a look. This still should hopefully give you a nice representation of the overall quality that you're going to be getting because you should still have a lot of these same things going for you, like the canvas and glue quality, uh, the drill quality, the hand charting, the licensed artwork. Um, the whole the whole process and they ship out of uh, texas i believe and i i think they ship directly from there so you should get it pretty quickly and stuff so um yeah definitely worth taking a look so those are my three projects that i've i've worked on so far for drills and chills 2023 i have lots of plans i already know two of the projects i want to work on during october one of them is a two yet to be released halloween kit from diamond art club which, uh, speaking of that, uh, I'm going to have one of those to give away here very, very shortly. So please stay tuned. But just so you know, um, <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. Uh, and then I also am planning to work on a kit, um, I think, from Jada Gem Shop. And then I, I think I should have time to maybe work on even one more. And so I'm kind of going to go through my stash and see okay, what do I want to add to the mix? Do, I don't know. We might have another another kit that has, you know, a witch and a black cat. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, that was just fun to do this little progress check-in. Now, I know what many of you may be here for really is to find out more about the weekly giveaways. So the first thing I'm going to do is announce the winners from last week, my week three giveaway winners. And I have six different prizes to give away from small shops last week. After I announce those winners, I'm going to tell you how, uh, what I'm giving away for this video for week four and how to enter. So um, first, yeah, let's do these, let's do these winners announcements from week three. So I'm going to kind of blitz through these because there's, there's a lot of them, but I don't want to diminish at all how much we appreciate our sponsors and their support because you guys, these were donated and I am beyond grateful that we get to partner with such amazing sponsors to make drills and chills happen. And I don't say that with any hyperbole. It's completely true. Uh, they make it make it possible. So anyway, the first prize that I have to give away from last week was a cat proof event tray set. And the winner of this prize is take a look at the screen, please. Congratulations. Um, I will be reaching out to you uh, soon with some more details on getting this shipped out to you. So yay, congratulations. Second prize that I had to give away from week three was a mystery set of minders from Galloway's Gallery. So the winner of this prize is, take a look at the screen. Congratulations, keep an eye on your email, please. The third prize I have to give away is a $35 Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax gift card. And so the winner of this prize is, take a look at the screen. Congratulations again to you and uh, keep an eye on your email. Fourth prize I have to give away is a $10 Crafts with Crashly gift card. So the winner of this prize is, take a look at that screen. Congratulations. Fifth prize that I have to give away is a $25 gift card to Diamond Painting Drills. So the winner of this prize is, congratulations. And then last, but certainly not least, I have a beautiful set of resin goodies to give you uh, to give away from amazing craft shop and the winner of this prize is take a look at that screen so congratulations to all six of our winners i will be in touch with you as soon as i can please bear with me <laughs> i there sometimes is a little bit of a delay with me reaching out but i promise that i will get to as quickly as I can and don't hesitate to ammo me if you have any questions whatsoever. As far as what I have to give away this week, remember how I mentioned the unreleased Halloween kit from Diamond Art Club? So I have one of those to give away. 
at some point in this event. I'm no longer going to be able to say that they haven't been released yet, but I'm stoked that Diamond Art Club has has given uh, has donated these for us to give away every week throughout the event, and uh, so that's one of the prizes I have to give away this week. The second prize I have to give away is a $50 gift card to Diamond Art Club. These are going to go to two different winners, and um, this is, you know, if you've been watching our weekly videos so far, I'm sure you've noticed a pattern, uh, is that each week either Lindsay or I will be giving away one of these Halloween Diamond Art Club kits and a $50 gift card, and the other one will be giving away a variety of different uh, prizes to, from other small shops in the in the community. So now let's see, to enter for uh, these week four prizes, which are open to US and international, two steps, as always, you may be having deja vu if you've been watching these videos. So first step is um, if you have not already at some point during the event for either Lindsay and I filled out the weekly giveaway form, please do so. If you've already filled out this form at any time during this year's event, you do not need to fill it out again, unless your mailing address has changed um, Otherwise, you're good to go. Uh, don't fret, by the way, I've gotten some questions about like, oh no, my YouTube name appears like one of a couple of different ways. Um, whatever you put in there is fine. We will, the way that we draw winners, we will be able to find it either way, uh, but still just fill in that part on the form to the <laughs> to to one of the ways, like however you're seeing it display for you is totally fine. So uh, don't fret about that. I had some panicked emails. I want to be like, it's fine, it's okay. Um, so that's step one is fill out that form if you haven't already. Step two is please leave a comment on this video that somewhere in it just uh, has the word cat. Um, it can be something about a black cat or uh, your your cat's name or <laughs> anything at all. All I say is uh, just please don't put the words prize or giveaway in your comment. Uh, that sometimes can pull in bots and stuff like that. We did have an issue with that last week and I am so, 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 so incredibly sorry where someone um, just sort of created a fake account that made it look like it was me and was responding to a bunch of comments saying, hey, you won this giveaway. And so that was not me. Um, we are never, ever, ever going to, through comments, uh, comment replies or anything like that, uh, ask you for any personal information or that's not how we're gonna announce prize winners. You're gonna get, you know, we're gonna announce them in these videos and then contact you directly. So, but I am really sorry about that. And if, I, you know, let me know if you have any questions about what happened. We tried to delete and take care of everything and put up an announcement, but my apologies that that happened. Um, Anyway, this giveaway is gonna stay open through, where's my calendar? Thursday, September, what is that, the 28th? I believe that's the 20th, yeah, the 28th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, then the giveaway will close. And then I will draw winners, so it's completely random. I do a random comment picker and announce those winners in my week five video. Be sure you hop over to Lindsay's channel, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, because she's got a whole fun batch of prizes to give away this week as well. So hop on over there and don't miss out on that. And be sure you're subscribed to both of our channels so that you don't miss out on any of the drills and chills fun. And um, I hope that if you're working on a project, I know lots of people have finished, but lots of people are still working. You've still got over a month, plenty of time, um, I hope that your project is going well and don't forget that once you finish it, fill out that grand prize giveaway form because we do have those uh, 10 $250 gift cards from Diamond Art Club to give away in addition to two very generous <laughs> small shop prize packs as well. So um, thank you guys so much for joining in on all the drills and chills fun with Lindsay and I. We are having a blast and loving seeing all the different projects you guys are working on and all the fun like shopping haul that you're showing over in the Facebook group and stuff. So uh, thanks for just getting as excited about this event as we are. We're, we're thrilled that um, everyone's just enjoying celebrating all things fall and Halloween. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I, I hope that you enjoyed getting a look at some of my different projects this year and maybe um, hearing about some different shops in the community. If you haven't checked them out already, please do. There's so many, so many fantastic shops in the community and we'd love to, love to sh spread the love. So anyway, I, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. Looking forward to, to reading your comments, but I hope you have a day and a week that is as amazing as you are and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.